So what's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Killzone Jones. Remember the name. Let's get right into it. So did Phil Fish and Zo Quinn stage the hacking of their websites? Now, let me go ahead on and say we're gonna go ahead and talk about you know Phil first. I said this in the last video, and I'm posting right here. Um, I think the dude was just misunderstood. He may be a jerk. He may be, you know, what I'm saying he 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 may be a, a very 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 undesirable person to be around. But I feel like there's a problem. There's something that has caused him to be this way. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being humble and meek about his success, he's he's very 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 gun ho. He's very very arrogant. You can't tell him nothing. You know what I'm saying? And and that's a dangerous you know attitude to have you know what i'm saying you got to be able to listen to people when they talk to you and listen to ogs and listen to your fans and be able to get feedback and, and do you know uh for them because we're in this because of the fans because of the people who who either watch our videos or people who create the games you know what i'm saying and i understand it's way more I, i'm in i was in software development so i understand how hard and how much work and time and in 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 in, in, in blood sweat and tears that go into um, game development. I understand it. So, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you just, you can't disrespect people. Especially, you can't bite the, the hand that feeds you. You know what I'm saying? And you have pissed off a lot of people. And, and I don't know if people will be willing in this industry to hear you out or willing to work with you or willing to help you through whatever problems that you're going through. With Zoe Quinn, and doing my research, she was doing, she's making depression quests. And me personally, I don't have, you know, nothing against uh, having relationship and relationships in the workplace. But, you know, now that this these texts and the, the, this the story has been well documented and people have been watching and seeing um, the thing, different things that are going on. The industry is getting shaked up, shooken up right now because of you two guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, one. People are already skeptical about supporting indie indie games. One, and if you have a, a a developer who's constantly, excuse my friend, shitting on his um on his fans, you know what I'm saying? The people who buy his game and things of that nature. Or you have you know a developer who is 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 using relationships and relations to get to further her career and further her um her 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 uh promotion for the game you know what i'm saying this is the type of stuff that needs to stop it's already other instances where people who you know by different developers and companies have been coerced to make content and i think that you know what i'm saying this right here should be the wake-up call that everybody needs you know what i'm saying this should be, you know, for the for the for the gaming public, we should have a more a res a, of a responsibility of calling folks out on, you know, their BS. Um, I think we sh and we should stop accept accepting mediocre product. You know what I'm saying? We should stop accepting games that come, you know, out with DLC that comp that basically is half the game you know what i'm saying the other half is locked behind locked in the disc and the other half is locked behind that paywall we got to stop accepting that we got to stop getting on the internet worn about uh, going back and forth about consoles and about resolutions and things and stuff like that and then with the gaming press um i think we should focus on you know uh, me and my friends have talked about this we should focus on the indie games because the bigger websites, the uh, you know that are out there, are going to cover the big games. But there's so many indie developers out there that could use the press that a smaller site can give them, and that smaller site should want to go and you know what I'm saying and 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 um you know and, and investigate that those indie games and really check out those indie games and spend time with them. You know, we don't need people going around implicating folks um, on, you know what I'm saying, uh, adultery and fornication and slander and, 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 and anything that is, you know, morally, um, 
not morally accepted or morally uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Morally uh, conscious. You know what I'm saying? People should start thinking. And we can't allow people to do certain things. And then they have an out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they got hacked. They got hacked very, very close to each other. So maybe this is an out. Maybe this, you know, maybe these things were two separate, uh, isolated incidents. And the people who did it wanted to make a statement. But either way, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the video game industry and entertainment as a whole should learn from this situation. You can't bite the hand that feeds you and you cannot sleep your way to the top. You cannot use sexual favors to get to the top. You cannot do these things. And I'm not saying these are all, this is all alleged. The truth will come to the light, ladies and gentlemen. When it when it all boils down, when it, when it all comes out, the truth shall and will come to the light. You know what I'm saying? My mama used to always tell me, you know what I'm saying? Do not do it. Don't do anything that you wouldn't do when I'm not around. And that's the responsibility. So Phil Fish has the responsibility to his fans to put out fans too. And Zo Quinn has the responsibility to respectively promote and push her product. And pr pr promote and push her game. But I didn't talk long enough. This is about almost six and a half minutes. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments section. Do you think that they actually got hacked? Or did this, was this a big setup from the very beginning? Make sure y'all like this video, favorite this video, share this video. Um, if you have subscribed, I thank you. Can't thank you enough. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that red button right underneath this video, underneath my name, right next to the picture. It's your boy DJ Kills on Jones. Remember the name. And I'm out. Peace. DJ Kills on Jones, better remember the name. DJ Kills on Jones, better remember the name. DJ. Real gamer news.